Good morning, Tenafly Tigers. Please tune your TVs to channel 30.1 or channel 2 for your morning announcements. And now, stay tuned for your Daily Tiger Rundown. Good morning, Tenafly Tigers. Today is Friday, October 18th. I'm Charlie. And I'm Arbel. And here are your morning announcements. Recently, Tenafly High School was featured on a Fox 5 news story about our school start times. Let's take a look at that story. One month into the start of the new school year, and most students are kind of settling into their routine. But for many high school students, the early start time is something they just can't get used to. Bianca Pete is here now, finding out why some schools are pushing it back. Hello, Bianca. Good morning, ladies. Talking about that, sleeping in a little bit extra early, but doctors say high school students need between 8 and 10 hours of sleep every night. But with the average high school student bell ringing just after 7 a.m., most aren't getting that much. I, I was going to bed at around like 12. 12, 31 every night. I generally go to bed around midnight. With most area high school starting before 8 a.m., those late bedtimes can make it hard for students to wake up. And experts say most high school students can't go to bed earlier. Physiologically, they just can't fall asleep. Their natural circadian rhythm is later than younger children as well as adults. Doctors like Marie Pierre Saint Ange say cutting down on sleep causes both short and long term problems. Too little sleep influences your ability to learn, um, memory, uh, attention span. There's a, an association with obesity, unhealthy eating patterns. That's why major medical groups like the American Academy of Pediatrics and American Heart Association are now recommending the high school morning bell shouldn't ring before 8.30. Any little bit would help, you know, for them to get more sleep. New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy announced a pilot program to test an 8.30 start time in five high schools starting in 2020. But Tenafly High School already began implementing a later start time two years ago. It was, you know, very um, groundbreaking. On most days, Tenafly High School starts at 8.10, 15 minutes later than school started a few years ago. And every fifth day, or E-day, school starts at 8.30. So opposed to how the state is handling this, trying to change that Monday through Friday right away, you guys are taking gradual steps and you've seen a positive impact from that, right? Our uh, daily start time for the most part at the high school was a different of 15 minutes, which makes an impact. But it's the E days that I think are really the most interesting days because on E day, students are starting at 8.30, which is a big difference, gives them a lot more leeway. And their classes are shorter. The day is very different. It's a little less stressful because there is not typically assessments given on that day. Students feel the difference. Definitely, that 30 minutes feels like two hours of more sleep. I can leave like 20 minutes later and it's Considering the fact that most kids don't get that much sleep at night, 20 minutes is a lot of time. I'm usually like more well prepared for the, the first block of class, which normally I might have been a little too tired to pay attention to. Even the extra like 20 minutes, I'm more awake in my morning classes. And students find themselves practicing other healthy habits. We actually eat breakfast. So with any big change, you're always going to see some pushback. So talk about some of those obstacles you face. We definitely have some traffic, um, you know, in town. And we understand that um, with parents. We also have student drivers now on the, on the road, you know, um, more closer to the times that our elementary and our middle schools are starting. And districts that share school buses between elementary, middle, and high schools would likely have to send the younger kids to school earlier. For the high school students, scheduling athletics and after school activities can be an issue. So we still have sports that are beginning um, via NJSIAA at 4 o'clock that we need to get students there. Superintendent DeMarco says that problem may get easier if more schools start later and student athletes say the later start time has helped them. I have late hockey practices that end at 10 and then I don't really get home till 1030. And waking up in the morning is pretty hard because I go to bed pretty late. One change Tenafly made to accommodate after school activities is to create what they call a unit lunch. That means the whole school has lunch at the same time. What's been great is our student government, many of our clubs meet during the lunch. Unit lunch was incredibly helpful because now clubs can meet during lunch and everybody can come. I think that was something else our school really took initiative about. 
Well, Tenafly High School made other changes. They implemented block scheduling with classes rotating so students don't consistently have the same class first thing in the morning. Now, ladies, I know we are early morning risers here, but you said you had your daughters went to Tenafly High School. Yeah, How do you feel did. about that change up? I know, right? They're probably wondering why wasn't why that did, implemented why was when I was there. Hello. <laughs> they did just fine. There we but go. that is nice. You can always benefit from a little bit of extra sleep. In Tiger Sports today, our gymnastics team has a varsity county meet at 5 p.m. at Ridgewood. And at 7 p.m. tonight, our football team plays Bergenfield at Geisinger Field. Come out and show your Tiger pride. This has been your Daily Tiger Rundown. Once again, I'm Charlie. And I'm Arbel. Thanks for watching and have a great day.